Hi, in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'll be showing you how to select any colour in Word using colour swatches from the internet, your own logo colours, or from a design you might have seen online. There are many different versions of Word, but most of the tools and actions I'll be using today can be found in all versions. So let's get started. So in order to demonstrate this, I'm just going to insert a couple of shapes so that we can change the colours and use all the different colour options. So I'll go up to the Insert tab, along to the Shapes icon, click on the drop down and just click on a simple shape. I'm just going to copy and paste this using Control or Command C and Control or Command V. OK. So let's say, for example, we wanted these squares to have different colours in that were all taken from a swatch we'd found online. I'm just going to move my page over slightly so that we can include those swatches. So if we were to go online and go onto Google and just pop in colour swatches and go onto the images icon here, and you can see you're presented with a number of different swatches. And you can go along to the top bar here if you've got a particular colour or a particular colour swatch in mind. So here, for example, we've got bright. If we click on bright, then you can see we're presented with a number of different colour options. From there, when you've selected a particular swatch, for example, if I wanted to select this one, then you can just simply take a screenshot. So I'm going to use Command or Control Shift 4 on a Mac, and you'll have other ways of taking your own screenshot on Android. And once we're happy with that, so all we need to do is to double click on our screenshot and bring it alongside our window. Now, if you find that you can't put this in your window um, because you've got a different program or it's not working, what you can simply do is go to Insert, Picture, Picture from File, go to my desktop, click on the screenshot and click Insert. Then just go up to Wrap Text on the Picture Format uh, tab, click down, to in front of text. Then you can just move this around in your document and then you've got access to this swatch right here. So let's say I wanted to turn these four squares into a selection of these colours, any four of these colours of my choice. If I wanted five obviously you can select another square. So if I click on my square I go to shape format, I go over to this shape fill icon here and click on the drop down. Go all the way down to more fill colours and you'll be presented with the colour wheel. Within the colour wheel there's this little eyedropper tool here. If you click on that then this circle appears. As you can see as I move the circle over the different colours it changes to the particular colour that's in the centre of the circle where the square is. So if I click on the first one you can see that pink colour has come up in this square here. And if I click OK, then my square here turns pink. If I click off, you can see I've got a border around the outside. You don't have to have that border. Or you can change it to the same colour if you want to. All you do is highlight your square, go to Shape Format, click on this drop down here, and click No Outline. And there you have that square, which is exactly the same colour as this first colour here. And in the same way, we go back up to Shape Format, Shape Fill, More Fill Colours, and back to our colour wheel. Select the eyedropper, go over to the orange one, and again orange appears here, and click OK. And then we'll go to No Outline again, click on the next square, make sure on Shape Format again, Shape Fill, repeat the steps that we did before, And finally, we'll do the last square. And there you have all the different colours that you've selected from a swatch online.
Now again, you can do the same thing with your logo. So if you've been given a logo from a professional and you wanted to construct a letterhead with the same colors, then again, you can simply import your logo. Just go to the Insert tab, Pictures, Picture from File. So let's say, for example, this is your logo. Again, it won't move because I need to go to the Wrap Text and click In Front of Text. Let's just get rid of this one. So let's say this is your logo. And again, let's say, for example, we wanted to change this element into the dark blue. Again, repeating the steps, more fill, colors, eyedropper tool, and then again, you just move your circle to the darker element of your logo, click OK. And then if I wanted the lighter element in the next uh, square, just repeat the process and go to the lightest element of your logo. And again, we've got the exact two colors. So now if I move that logo up, you can see that I've got those exact colors. As you can just see the logo begins to disappear where I've matched the color. So I hope that's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.